Uh, you want to kind of introduce who you are and um, for those people who are on here, because we probably have a lot of people on here who are not in luxury yet. Sure. I love that. And the key word is yet. So my name is Brady Sandal. I have the pleasure of being director of growth for Keller Williams Luxury, which means that I am focused on three things and they're in a particular order. Number one is making sure that all of our agents inside Keller Williams are able to grow their production. And that includes agents who sell luxury and agents who've not sold luxury yet. Number two is making sure that our market centers and regions and our company have the best products and services for the agents who need to use them. So that Keller Williams not only becomes the house of excellence, but the easiest place for you to sell real estate, especially luxury. And the third is to make sure that we invite and attract others to join us inside Keller Williams so that we are growing your market center, not just in agent count, but more importantly in production and profitability so that our market centers are more profitable and our profit share is even bigger than it is today. So that's my job. Um, coming to you from Palm Springs, California, where as many of you know, I have the pleasure of leading 15 phenomenal people. Our 15 people, we have half in production and we have half support those who do produce. And we will close about 265 units, primarily in luxury, totaling over 200 million uh, in 2021. So we're exceptionally proud of everything that we're doing for KW Luxury. We've tested in the Palm Springs market. We know it works for a local team. It's working for the region and it's going to work for you as well. So that's who I am. And more importantly, how proud I am to be here. Awesome. Thank you. And my name is Ryan Yarbrough. I'm your South Florida Regional Technology Director. And I have an army of technology trainers as well in the chat session that are here to help you if you have any questions or needs. So feel free to put those questions in there. We'll either try and answer them on the call or the Market Center Tech Trainers will take care of that in the chat as well. So based on the get, dance move, I think Andrew must be one of your market center technology trainers. So yeah, <laughs> absolutely. The mess, mustache is alive and well on that one. I love it. All right. So I've got some questions. We're going to go ahead and ask them. Um, first question I do have Brady is going to be what does tech look like in command since this is take command? Uh, what does it look like for the future of uh, technology in the luxury market? Yeah. So let me just share that. Uh, first and foremost, the, the definition of luxury for Keller Williams is around the level of service we offer. And that level of service focuses on the service we provide for our agents and those who support our agents. And then it's focused on the customers who pay them. So right now we have a suite of assets that are available in command. And full disclosure, they're not as easy for our agents to find and they're not as easy for our agents to use. And so I highly recommend you leverage on the market center technology trainers, focus on Ryan, focus on the graphic designers because you have a suite of services right now that you can use to market Keller Williams luxury listings. They're not as easy as they can be. They will get easier, but right now, lean into the culture, lean into KW Connect, lean into command, familiarize yourself with them, and then find the person that's gonna help you customize them for you. For example, we chose Keller Williams Professional Services, and they did the heavy lifting of the logo for business cards and signage. They did all of that for us because we didn't really want to do that. So right now, everything's there, but full disclosure, it's not as easy to use as it could be. Now, for the things outside for a consumer, command, yeah, those things are great. I'm old school, though. Number one, you want to have the phone communication face-to-face -face or Zoom, and then everything else is technology supported. So in luxury, we don't put digital first. It's really phone face-to-face -face in person, and then it's digitally supported, right? Especially for people that we already know. All right. So kind of started leading into what's the five-year plan look like as far as tech and uh, luxury. Yeah. So when we look about designing Keller Williams Luxury for five years, we're studying brands who are already in luxury. These are brand names, you know, Tesla, David Yurman, Saks Fifth Avenue, Nordstrom, Four Seasons, Ritz-Carlton. We're looking at different hotels. We're looking at different retail shops. We're looking at different experience groups. 
what are they doing in luxury? And what we're noticing is there's two commonalities they're all chasing. Number one is that the luxury is not as much of a product or a price point as it is the experience around it. So we have to make sure that as we build this five-year plan out, that we're developing an experience that's second to none. What does that translate to? It means that as someone's walking into your market center, do they feel like they're walking into a Nordstrom? Is the director first impression getting up out of the chair, walking around the desk to greet them? If you have someone walking into your showing appointment, are you meeting them at the front door and taking them in? Are you using the basics of luxury service? The second thing is that when you have those emotions that come out, you have to make sure it's cemented in their mind because brand awareness is stored in the brain. And you wanna make sure that you've done something so well that they remember it and they speak to it and they tell people to go buy it. And that's what we're building. So making sure that we give you everything that you need, not just inside command, but the language you use and the experience to give and the service to offer, the sonography of that experience needs to be as luxurious as possible. Five-year plan, quite simple, Ryan. You know, we have over 7,000 agents who have closed a minimum of four luxury homes in the last 24 months. That is growing every single month. And within five years, we, we will be over 25,000 agents, meaning 25,000 agents who are really focused on selling luxury at a high level. Yeah, I mean, the first one you said there, uh, one of our market center tech trainers is probably extremely ecstatic to hear you say, because he was actually just in our chat a little bit ago saying how this is exactly along his guidelines of, uh, or his idea of the market center of the future, making sure that market center looks like what it should look like to attract these agents. And it's not just luxury agents, it's all agents. No, the program that experience. Running, yeah, the program we're running in California that we've tested in one market center that we're doing in a larger market center is called a shared service suite. So the agent comes into the market center and that agent is going to have branding done for them in the market center, lead generation done in the market center, concierge work of gift giving in the market center, coaching training in the market center, listing transaction management support in the market center. In other words, everything the agent needs is in the market center. It's powered by the market center. It's delivered by the market center. Why is that important? Because it gets the agent away from pain and it provides more opportunity for people inside the market center. And candidly speaking, we have agents that are racing around with their credit cards and they're spending money with every other vendor. If they spent the money inside market center, it's going to create a smaller expense for the agent. It's going to create a slight profit arm for the market center. It's going to drive company dollars. It's going to drive profitability and profit share. Everybody wins. So we're pretty confident that the shared service suite will be exceptional and hugely popular. Well, any of you guys who are listening who are waving your credit cards around that, please talk to your market center tech trainers first. Don't just go start spending it because we yeah. can probably help you quite a bit. Not only that, we're going to start talking MREA and making sure that we're spending wisely. All right. Uh, next thing is a buzzword that's been going around quite a bit. Um, it's, it's the new it word and that's disruptive. So how do we plan to be disruptive in luxury? I think it goes down to shared services. Um, I, I am director of growth. I'm an interim OP for the purpose of testing the shared service suite program. And I can tell you that the way to be disruptive is to give the agent everything they need so they have no reason to leave. Absolutely. So starts, you know, if you look at what Compass did, Compass developed a graphic designer. It's an expensive one because they have a never ending cap. So if the market center had a graphic designer, you know, everybody wins. The next thing is lead generation. Not everybody wants to lead generate. They want to lead convert. When the shared services suite offers them leads that they can convert, everybody wins. The agent spends less money or no money. The market center wins and they increase profitability, which means they can reinvest back on their people. When you have a concierge and a coach and a trainer that can help the agent grow their luxury business, we're about to finalize the new luxury coaching material that will be delivered through maps. We're actually going to have a coaching program on luxury, 15 standards of excellence that people can go through to learn about how to sell more of it or how to get into it. And that'll be a brand, an industry branded training program that's going to be well recognized. And then we go down to listing transaction management support. Now that's very common. We call that transaction coordination. That'll probably very much look the same 
But what will be different is the concierge program where within a matter of a few buttons, you click the number of gifts you want the concierge to give your clients and they brand that around you and they make you look like a rock star. So in other words, you're not only just selling real estate, but you're selling it the Nordstrom way. You've walked into your own market center, call it a Nordstrom store, and you've got everything you need right there within those four walls and that ceiling. You never have to go anywhere else. By the way, technology plays into that. Imagine when the brand manager sets them up on command and sits down with the local market center ISA and runs that lead generation program and all those leads go into command and then the agent's just working with the PC coach to convert them. They're gonna get into production faster. They're gonna create more company dollars sooner. They're gonna cap faster. Everybody wins. That's how we're gonna be disruptive. I've heard you say before that it's, it's not a price point, it's an experience in luxury. And that kind of goes down to the agent level as well, right? Oh, listen, it starts with the agent level. I mean, every single executive, including my good friend, Mark Olish, we wake up every single day figuring out how do we take away the pain of our agents and provide more opportunity for retention? That's what we do. That's our job. That is all, that's all we do. Take away the pain and build more opportunity because we got to keep the Barbies in the world inside the market center. I see you. <laughs> I see you. Great to see you, Brady. Nice to see you too, Mark. Both that Mark. also leads into this next question to keep these people happy. So a couple of these questions I have in here are directly from some of our agents. So um, any future plans for a luxury version of our KW uh, agent websites? Yeah, those are all getting redone. Every, so there's going to be a separate right agent now. for luxury? What's that? So there's going to be a separate one for luxury and for non-luxury? Yeah, so right now we have what's called luxury.kw.com. Luxury.kw.com is a temporary site that looks okay. Notice I'm smiling. <laughs> it's a temporary site that looks okay. It will be redone. It is being redone. Um, because everything that we have to provide needs to be easy for you, the agent, to get. It has to be quick for you to receive it and beautifully finished. And that website is not beautifully finished. Notice but beyond that. the beyond the luxury.kb.com, is there going to be a version for the agents to be able to use? Oh, absolutely. Luxury, luxury. Okay. Absolutely. Yeah. That's one of the complaints we have gotten from some of the luxury agents is like, I want my site to look like the luxury site. That's right. Yeah, everything needs to be consistent. If you were to buy something at Starbucks, you know, your $3.65 tea, the siren looks the same. If you shop at Nordstrom, the boxes look the same. There's brand consistency. And so we need to make sure that our agents' brands are in alignment with our KW Luxury brand. Yeah. Awesome. And what is the proposition of the KW... What is the value proposition of the KW Luxury versus other brokerages? Well, I think the fundamental difference, Ryan, is that most, first of all, every brand out there is trying to be the luxury X, right? They're trying to be the luxury real estate company, the luxury car company, the luxury clothing company, the luxury hotel company, right? And there's nothing wrong with that. We decided to take a slightly different change, and that is be the agent who sells luxury, be the company who sells luxury, which puts the focus on the consumer, not on the brand itself. And we did that because Keller Williams fundamentally believes that it's about the agent, right? Mm -hmm. You're going to want to have your own brand powered by Keller Williams luxury. So when we take a look at what makes us different, here's the reality. Keller Williams as a, as a brokerage will sell a hundred billion dollars worth of real estate this year. That is three times more than what we sold last year. Now, we know part of that is because the market's stronger. We get it. But more importantly, we did a significant change in 2021. We said that every single agent in Keller Williams can be luxury. It's the property that needs to qualify. And when properties qualify as luxury, right, that means the agent, regardless of their first day or their 10th year, they can use that marketing to market that as a KW luxury listing. What that translated into is last year, we had 33.5 billion of residential sales over a million dollars closed. So for every sale over a million, that led to 33.5 billion, right? This year, a hundred billion. 
we're allowing every single one of our agents the opportunity to show up and represent a property that's deemed luxury. It's deemed luxury based on the county that it's in. Miami-Dade will have one price point. You know, another, another county in Florida may have a different baseline. Your market center leaders, your, your MCTTs know that it's in Command MC. But when any agent lists properties above the luxury floor, they can market that as a KW luxury listing. Well, right now, what makes this different is that Keller Williams is the only brand, pay attention, the only brand in every major market, we're the only brand in every medium market, and we're the only brand in all small markets. And why that's important now is that luxury is moving around like it's never moved before. It's not going from Miami to Miami Beach as much as it's going from California to Miami, or from Atlanta to Miami, or from New York down to Miami. Those feeder markets are fueling the growth into your markets. So you have to really clear that luxury moves. And now you have three markets to focus on inside command. You've got the market you specialize in, you've got the feeder market, and Mark Benson knows this really well, and then you've got the downriver market of where they're going to next. But because the real estate is a monopoly board and pieces are moving around, you've got to be really clear that Keller Williams is the only brand that's in all those markets. That's what makes us unique. Absolutely right. And if I go on a listing appointment and I'm in front of somebody and they say that they know another brand to be luxury and they don't really know us as luxury, they've not heard of us as luxury, what, what would be your response to that? Yeah. So, you know, the common, the common question is, well, I, I think of another brand like Compass or Sotheby's as luxury. And I say, mm -hmm. they are great brands. Can I share with you the power of our brand? Ask a question. Sure. Ultimately, you're looking for me to find you a buyer, correct? Yes. And you'd like the buyer to pay the most money. Is that right? Right. And so wouldn't you want to hire the brand that has the most salespeople with the largest databases the world's ever seen? Great. Right. In other words, listen, you're selecting me to find the buyer. I've got 197,000 agents on five continents. I'm pretty sure that one of our Keller Williams agents on those five continents has the buyer for your home. It's a numbers game. If I'm an agent on here and I've not sold luxury before, or I am an agent on here who does sell luxury, where do I go to get specific luxury training? KW Connect. All roads start at KW Connect. And once you get to KW Connect, just scroll over to communities and you're going to scroll down to the new KW Luxury. If you've earned in, it's also Luxury Hub. But everything on KW Connect, communities, luxury is there for you. In fact, there's a weekly train happens every Friday on KW Connect. It happens at one o'clock Eastern, 12 o'clock Central. It's a live 30 minute conversation. We talk about all things related to luxury. That should be on your personal growth plan. That should be on your market center training calendar, the luxury learning series. And, and early, I'm sorry, go ahead. And lean into KW Connect every single day. We've got an enormous amount of content there for you. Absolutely. There's a I don't think you guys realize how much is actually on there. Spent a lot of time in there. Um, and we have something coming out here really soon. They'll make that even easier. So we're looking forward to that as far as the training. Uh, the next part is if I'm, you brought this up a little bit ago about um, professional services. What are some of the white glove type of services that we do offer, especially in the luxury arena? Yeah. So let's start with the onboarding, right? So you have someone that's coming into Keller Williams or someone that's earning into Keller Williams luxury the onboarding experience where they're going to rebrand themselves with their new business cards, their auto signature, the logo, um, even their branding for their sign. They could use professional services to do that design work and, and they should, right? So if you don't have a graphic designer in your market center yet, and you're not familiar with which vendor to use, KW Professional Services can be that vendor of choice for you. Now, once you have the initial onboarding brand done and your listing property, you can turn to them for market my listing, where you actually can say, here's my new listing. I want you to brand it. Here are the photos, style it up, do the just listed, the just mailing, the social campaign. They can run that play for you. And obviously your market center technology trainer should be working with you and you should be working with them, right? Mm -hmm. Starts with you. Invite them in to talk about how you can take the great photography with the KW Luxury, run that in a campaign through command to digitally reach the buyers who need to see it and who should want to buy it. And then, of course, once it closes, you've got that just sold mailer already done that you can execute out. 
So again, remember your job is to sell property. Your job is to represent clients. Your job isn't necessarily to design brochures. So don't avoid lead generation. Um, mm -hmm. Start creating your own brochures, leverage on professional services and your market center technology trainer. Absolutely. Thank you. Thank you for saying that. Yeah. Um, so this is another one that we had earlier in our panel, but I thought it'd be appropriate to bring back to you. Um, where can I research luxury products? And this is kind of a confusing question to them, but a lot of uh, the agents who are getting luxury maybe don't know what some of these products are, such as appliances and flooring, just some of the other materials that are used in building luxury homes. So where could we actually go to find out more about that? I absolutely recommend that you find the best builders in your local market and go see their new home product, whether it's a vertical tower or it's a residential community, but certainly go take a look at the collateral, go look at the features in those particular products. Number two, do some online research. You can just Google, you know, latest luxury appliances, latest luxury colors, latest luxury architecture. You'll see some things and you'll see some consistencies of the look and feel. Generally speaking, it's around more modern than Mediterranean. Generally speaking, it's around clean, simple living versus dark, heavy materials. So you're going to st start to see that really clean, crisp look. Even the Ritz-Carlton, one of my favorite brands, which is primarily a more Mediterranean style architecture, right, has shifted to a more modern, lighter, brighter palette style. So that would be a trend. But the trends are around you. Um, mm -hmm. At the end of the day, <clears throat> you want to understand what the latest luxury products are. And probably more important, the luxury service trends. So go hang out in the lobby of your favorite hotel. Go hang out in your favorite luxury car dealership. What do you see? What do you hear? What do you smell? What do you experience? because that's what you want to do, right? Right. So when, when, I, was coming, yeah. when I was growing up, I, my parents were realtors and they always told me if I wanted to get in real estate, I needed to read the real estate magazines and learn all that stuff. Is there any publications out there that are specific towards luxury that they could be reading or watching? You know, here's my belief on that. There are, there's an enormous amount of material that you can read. I would really focus on things a little differently. I would focus on travel and leisure. I would focus on experience magazines. I would focus on retail magazines, because here's why. You wanna see where people are spending money. We know in luxury that the coastal markets like Florida are winning, California coastal markets winning, Hawaii winning, why? Because People are migrating to water, number two. We also know that small markets are winning. Why? Because the people in luxury believe, rightfully so, that when they travel to the Florida Keys, for example, the money they spend there is helping the local economy. So they're spending their money in the local markets where they believe they can make a difference. You see, the media won't talk about this, but everyone's really clear that our economy is in trouble. And you've got a lot of people that have been out of work on unemployment, who, by the way, are going to have to go to work in a couple of days because the unemployment will end. And I say that with no angst, but the reality is the people with an enormous amount of money recognize that they are helping fund the economy. And so they're keeping those servers and those staff members employed by spending their luxury travel in those markets. So I hear you say follow the money. Follow the money. They All right, great the money is coming from and where is it going to next and it was good around it yeah all right so um this one's from mark because i know he was wanted to ask this question but uh this kind of goes in with what we heard at mega camp about um breaking into the sports and entertainment industry and that usually works hand in hand with luxury so what can you tell us about that well, Jordan Stewart is leading that specialization. It's called sports and entertainment. It is one of the many specializations that we're bringing to you. Obviously we have luxury, new homes, land, commercial, sports and entertainment. And this provides another opportunity 
for you to get involved in a specialization. And when I say get involved, it means learn what's going on in sports entertainment, figure out what they're selling, why they're buying, where they buy it. Number two, understand that there's referrals in that world, right? You can lean into that specialization just much like you do with luxury. Build those relationships with people who specialize in that particular world. It's a big world and I'm thrilled that that is one more specialization we're bringing into our Keller Williams luxury and Keller Williams ecosystem because those two specializations are in alignment. Yeah, here in Florida, it's uh, big for us too because we have some uh, tax benefits for them as well. Oh, yeah. I mean, I listen, you know, California, 51% tax, state and federal combined, horrid. Javier is like shaking his head like, oh, no, I'm not <laughs> in California, right? Yeah, no, California is expensive. There's no doubt about it. And you've got, you know, great sports teams and you've got athletes and you've got owners. You've got an enormous amount of money in sports. Obviously, entertainment um, is, is shifting out of California, going to great states like Florida. Georgia's big right now. Um, yeah, big money. Texas, tax free. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So, we actually made good time on that. We got about 30 minutes in and I finished all my questions. So now what we're going to do is we're going to actually open this up to our audience and see what they might want to ask you. So if you have any questions, please go ahead and either put it in the chat or you can um, go ahead and raise your hand and we'll pull you on camera. Mark, so Mark Benson wants to jump on. Hey, Ariel's right on. Welcome, Mark. Can you, can you give us a sneak peek behind the curtain of who you might be having coming up on your Friday calls? Um, yeah, so we've got a few, well, we're bringing on multiple people. Um, the topics that we're going to go forward on is number one, what specifically is working with digital? We've got a few people coming on this week about digital marketing. We also have people talking about video marketing because video and content are, are going hand in hand. What we're noticing right now is that um, our agents are missing out on the buyers that are coming in from feeder markets. And those buyers in the, in the feeder markets are shopping online and they're shopping for content. So helping you see what you can do with video and digital. The second thing we're focused on is how you give back to the local communities you serve. We gave a small sound bite with Jason and Laura Burns who developed a nonprofit in Pasadena, California. And one of the spins on their nonprofit, Mark, is that they sent out a campaign newsletter asking for people in Pasadena to give their favorite charity. 6,200 people responded back. 6,200 people they could put in their database. And then they identified 62 charities and they gave a minimum of 250 per charity. That was a huge win for them. So again, how do you develop or how do you contribute to local charities in your market. And then finally, not finally, but, but next up after that is we're gonna go into um, something a little bit different, but around talent selection and how do you really get your talent, whether it's your paid talent or your vendor talent, like photographers, stagers, cleaners, how do you get them to deliver the level of service that you deliver at that listing table? How do you select talent? How do you select vendors? How do you train them to deliver the level of service that you are? For example, if Mark, you are always dressed up, right? So when you dress up at the listing table, everything's going well, but if your photographer shows up and flip flops in a polo, there's a disconnect with the brand. So how do you get your vendors on board so that they deliver the same level of service that you did at that listing table? So those, those are the next three up and we might move a few things around based on some key things we're, we're watching, but um, for example, we might do a, we might pull something and talk about the unfortunate hurricane that came through and how we can rally around our people. So we might pivot some things, um, but, but content wise, that's what you can expect the next couple of weeks. Awesome. And where can people Thank access you. that? Uh, KW Connect. All roads go to KW Connect. If you just spent five minutes less on Instagram and took that and put five minutes in KW Connect, the world would be a better place. So you're saying go to KW Connect? Go to KW Connect. Listen, I'm a guy that for a long time didn't even know my password for KW Connect. This is before I joined KW Luxury, of course. But you want to become very familiar. This is our culture. This is your 
this is the place to go when you feel like the walls are coming in or you need the walls to get further away. This is your place to lean into our culture, KW Connect. So I have actually a really good question here um, from Kevin about including Spanish in any of our uh, content. Do you have any plans to include any other languages? Yeah, so Keller Williams is on five continents, right? So we have all of those languages to put in. That is not something that we're going to automatically happen right now, just because of the bandwidth of what we have to do. But um, the websites, yes, the print collateral, yes, that will all be done. And I would like to suggest in Q1 of 2022, those will be executed. That's actually really good. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. Um, let's see. And, and the uh, hand raised right here. Minute. So just one thing is that uh, going local and then expanding wide. So it's the US and then we brought in Canada and then we bring in Mexico and then we go over off of North America. And it's in that particular order. Okay, go ahead, Pam. Can Pamela you bring your camera on, Pam? Yeah, yeah. Hi, I'm Pamela Bell. Um, I am in luxury and I need some marketing done. And I um, I really need some help with that. And I'd like somebody that actually has, you know, expertise. I want to only put out, you know, really nice luxury. I, I don't mind spending the money for it either. So where can I go? Uh, is there a place? Is there people somewhere? What are, sure. what are we doing? Yeah, so Pamela, in your mind and in your heart, what type of pieces would you want to send out? <clears throat> well, um, like I do events, so I want to create, uh, you know, a lot of buzz um, for the events. Great. I want to do, you know, thank yous after they've come. I would like to do uh, postcards for my listings. I want to set myself apart. That's what I like okay. to do. Perfect. I love it. And um I assume that you don't have a graphic designer in your market center yet, correct? No. Okay. I have somebody that's done um, a postcard or two for me, but that's not his job. He's just being super nice helping me right now. Okay. So I'll, I'll, I tend to be very step-by-step -step oriented, paint by numbers, if you will. So step number one is work with KW Professional Services to go through the onboarding. Make sure they have a particular look for your brand make sure they have a particular signature color, make sure that you like what we call your brand assets, okay? That's yeah, I have that already. You have that? Okay, yes. perfect. Mm -hmm. Number two is I would engage your market center technology trainer who would partner with Ryan and make sure that the technology pieces that you're gonna send out are set up for success and let them coach you on how to execute your vision. So that would be point number two. Point number three is you could leverage with KW Professional Services for any new listing that you have to make sure that they take the brand you have and they parlay that with the listing that you're going to have. And then you take that back to in alignment with your MCTT, your Market Center Technology Trainer, or with Ryan, and you execute that locally. So those would be the first couple steps that I would suggest you do. Um, those, those, that's the best way, the most effective way, and the most cost-effective way for doing it. KW Leverage Services, where is that? Uh, if you go into KW Connect. And it's you, in the chat. Yeah, it's in the chat. Okay. Uh, it's right there. And of course, um, sometimes we can have difficulty finding things. So I would go into your phone right now. And if you know your market center technology trainer, I put them in your phone, label them and lean into them. So okay. Kyle's waving, I know Andrew's on. They're that's her tech, That's her MCTT is Andrew, the one with yeah. the mustache. I'm yep. good. Yep, so <laughs> Andrew, you probably okay. wanna drop your contact information into the chat just so they have it. And that way, you know, you're leaning on the people that know what to do. Remember, you're the expert on selling real estate they're the expert on getting the message out. Okay. 
Yeah. Andrew was the one that was helping me and he did awesome. Like, you know, I was telling him, no, put this here, do this there. And I felt like I was giving him too many orders. So (laughs) Andrew's Andrew's not as fragile as he looks. He's got, (laughs) I'm also colorblind. So designing my thing, but I can help you target it and and get it moved out. Yeah. 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 He's great. I got to say. Professional services is more. Yeah. So professional services and Andrew, that's a great championship team. You take yourself, Pam, as sales slash chief visionary officer for your brand. You add Andrew for the technology support, and you add professional services for the creative color side of it, and you've got a championship team right there. So for the color side, what do you mean professional services? So there's a division or or a service arm within KW called KW Professional Services. Okay. For your virtual graphic design team. And they can work with you to bring in a style color, bring in a look. They can design all of your pieces that you need for listings that you choose to list and and buyers you choose to close on. So they can carry all the creative lifting in cooperation with Andrew's technical background. I didn't know that. Okay, awesome. Okay. Hey, thanks. Yeah, I mean, one thing we have to be really aware of is that Keller Williams has sometimes kept things secretive when we shouldn't have. I know. This is so like pulling teeth trying to get stuff. And the good news is you have one of the strongest leadership teams the company has, especially when you talk to, you know, the Mark Olish world and and the Ryan Yarbrough's. I mean, these gentlemen wake up every day. Okay. They're just phenomenal. So if you think that there's something that you need, the odds are that we probably have it. Could it be better? Sure. But in the meantime, you've got people that are, ready to rock and roll. I have been winging things for so long and just like, I guess I haven't asked the right people for help or when I asked, we weren't, they weren't ready for that yet. Like I'm seeing a big difference a year and a half ago since after COVID, what Ryan knows now and, you know, and getting Andrew in place, it's different. It has definitely stepped up a notch. Good. Well, we, we love that. Thank you. Uh, we absolutely love that. Thank you, Pamela. Thank you. Yeah. A lot of people are sending me private messages too, which is <laughs> like, it's like getting messages from you guys and guys. Well, that's awesome. It's glad that uh, they yeah. can contact you. Hernandez asking on here, do you have a date for the uh, Agent Luxury website? So we're not going to throw an actual date date out there, but do you have a time frame? What was the... Um, for the Luxury Agent website update? I don't. I have a conversation with our uh, concierge team today, but I don't want to commit to that right now. I'm, I'm just not sure. Yeah. And how about for, he's also saying a date for the white glove concierge service in Florida. Well, that would be a be market center to market center leadership, right? So we are running that play in Southern California right now. It's called shared service suite luxury hub. And it basically has everything and we've got to get through that. And then we're going to make that available, that playbook available to everyone and they can run with it. But I would imagine that, you know, that's the order. And I I couldn't speak to the timing because that's really a market center slash regional conversation. Great. And just see if there's any more here. Okay. Mark wants to ask another question. I see. Yep. Bring him in. Thank you. Um, For any of our tech experts or Brady, um, KW Connect has a lot of content that people post on there and uh, smart plans, et cetera. Is there a way to um, get, how should I say, digests or updates as they come in uh, for posts that that are specific to luxury? In other words, not having to type in a word and search for something, but to get an email update or to be able to log in and, and th- that you get them in, in time sequenced. I like that idea, uh, Mark. My biggest suggestion would be to go to ideas.keep.com and put that in there. And then you're also talking to Brady right here. So I'm sure between him and myself, we have enough influence to try and make something like that happen. Or how do you okay. use it? How do you use KW Connect and the content that's shared there? How, how are you finding it? Well, you said two things there. So we, I heard you say, uh, smart plans. And I heard you say KW connect. So for smart plans, I like the idea, like if there's luxury specific smart plans that we could bring up and filter based upon that, that'd be great. And then again, that would be an ideas.kb.com thing we have to put in there, but 
as far as KW Connect and videos, um, we are revamping that right now for search. So once we get that done and into command, you should be able to search that a lot better. So that's probably something where it's not probably it is something we have in the works. Thank you. I like the idea for the luxury, like luxury smart plans. If there's something specific to that, being able to search that. So if you could, please put that in there because it's more powerful when you do it and then we support it. Let's see. So Ryan, can I jump in here for just a second? Please do, Mark. Yeah, uh, uh, Brady, thanks so much for sharing, first of all, and your level of commitment to luxury is just unparalleled. So we're so grateful to have you leading the charge for us. And I mean, you know, in terms of tangible things, right, for, for us as luxury agents now, we can go on an appointment and give real numbers of the kind of service we're delivering and, and delivering and the level of sales we have. And you've got everything that we need is on that website. So you just need to get with your market center tech trainer. The question I want to ask you is because this is a tech and luxury, what would you recommend we do? You set a network now of 7,000 luxury agents, and that's one of our greatest opportunities to connect with each other. Would you recommend we do that as a, a smart plan? Uh, you know, MREA says kind of a one by 12 with other realtors. What would you say as a luxury agent I should be doing to build my network of other people across the country? Mark, thanks for the kind words. I'm a raving fan of yours. So I look forward to coming to Florida in a couple weeks and seeing you. Um, you know, I, I'm going to I'm going to answer this from almost 30 years of working for luxury brands, including Keller Williams. I'm an advocate of phone, phone conversations, right? And I have to just say that I believe that the most defining moments that a customer has with you is the first introduction to you. And that is where you are really required to be on the phone in person or through Zoom with them and really understand what the customer is looking for. And after you've asked enough questions and you figure out where they really are, then you could set up a technical slash digital smart plan, right? But what I wanna be really clear on is that we will put those smart plans in front of the conversation to avoid the conversation. And we shouldn't do that. Notice I'm smiling, right? So at the end of the day and at the beginning of every day, the level of service we offer in terms of those defining moments will determine the price point we get to serve and the number and type of questions we ask will determine if and when we get paid and how much. So long answer for a very simple, intelligent question. Start with the phone, right? Figure out where they really are. If they're not in a situation to do business with you now or they're, or they're a potential referral partner, then put them into a plan. The second thing I'd say to that, Mark, is that for the most part, for the most part, key markets feed into other key markets, understand where the buyer is coming from, and then network into that market. Network into Keller Williams. We do that every day, and our team of 15 averages almost four referrals every business day. Wow. We're phone. We're on the phones. Yeah. Great advice, Brady. Uh, thank you for that. And I, I'm so excited about the connectivity that, that we have and the opportunity we have with this organized effort. And we're looking forward to seeing you in a few weeks. Can't wait. I, Brady, I just want to thank you so much for coming on, Matt. You have been so helpful and so easy to connect with. Obviously, you're getting text messages from everybody on the call. <laughs> so you're, you're amazing. You're a great leader. Appreciate you. Um, there are There is one other question here from Barbie. She wants to know if the latest luxury lore st sales stats are available yet to share. Yes, I believe they have been loaded into KW Connect under Luxury Hub. Uh, if you're market center leadership um, and you need any help on that, just email luxurykw.com and they'll make sure they give you the Google Drive, but it, sh it is up on KW Connect. So if you can't find it, we'll make sure you get it. Great. Anybody else have any questions? quick questions all right well it's great to see everybody thank I, you so much people and we'll see you in person in uh a couple of weeks thanks thank Brady. you be well